What's going on everybody? It's John B here. And this week I decided to venture out and take a few pictures. And I uh, just wanted to explore a little bit. And uh, I found this bridge online called the Red Oak Creek Cover Bridge. And uh, it's about an hour west of me in Woodbury, Georgia. So I called up my friend Meredith and see if she wanted to go out and take some pictures. Uh, we ventured out and uh, found this bridge. And I uh, put it in GPS and uh, you know, a lot of times you don't know if you can bleed GPS, so we went out and followed the route and um, turned off on this dirt road here. And uh, it was kind of secluded out in the middle of nowhere. And, and as you see, it took us a few miles out. And I started to wonder if we were going to the right place. And uh, finally, uh, the road got rough in some sections and a little bit muddy in some sections. But um, yeah, it was the right road. So uh, we went out and traveled. and. Uh, has some pretty pretty land throughout here as you can see and uh, later on the farm comes up on the left and you know it's been a nice place to go out and just uh, ease your mind kind of deal and uh, I was also thinking for uh, night photos you know for the stars and stuff there's uh, no uh, light pollution out there because it's in the middle of nowhere so it'd be a nice place to go and uh, try to get a picture of the Milky Way but anyhow Meredith and I went out here and uh, it's called the Red Oak Creek Cover Bridge and uh, it was built back in the 1840s by uh, a free slave called, um, his name was Mr. King. And uh, Mr. King built a bunch of these bridges in, uh, throughout West Georgia. And this is his uh, only surviving bridge of this design. And uh, the bridge is 390 feet long, which includes the approach from one end to the other. The whole cover bridge isn't the longest, but um, the whole bridge at 391 feet is considered the longest one and, and uh, the oldest and the longest in the um, state of Georgia. So uh, pretty nice. The bridge, they say, has a little bit over 2,500 wooden pegs holding it together. And um, basically, the planks were made up out of a uh, crisscrossing at a 45 and a, and a 60 degree angle. And uh, they were fastened together with the wooden pegs. So um, yeah, it's a pretty cool design. There's, uh, like I said, there's no nails except for in the, um, in the ceiling because they uh, the like for the shingles. They use uh, wood planks and uh, you know has some nails in it, but everything else as far as the bridge was built was done by the wooden pegs, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, the bridge also said um, they can it can hold a three three uh, three tons, excuse me. And um, but the size of the bridge, I don't see it um, anything going over the bridge at three tons. But it's um, you know the history of the place is kind of cool because. You look back in the 1840s and the horse and wagon days and they had this cover bridge and you wonder, you know, well, at least I wonder, you know, what went through this area, you know, like mills and stuff like that and uh, what the road was used for. And uh, it'd be nice just to be able to go back in time just to see what it was done, everything was used for. But um, we got here and started taking some pictures and um, this couple came up and uh they were probably in their 70s late 60s early 70s and really nice couple and you know they were excited because uh, his wife she lost her wedding ring about a year ago and uh a guy went to her, their house and found it that day within 20 minutes with his uh, metal detector but uh come to find out they're from Carrollton, georgia and he has written three books about Carrollton. and um meredith her brother-in-law his sister lives in Carrollton, and so Meredith just asked them if they knew of that name and they're like they knew her and um, they actually went to church with her so uh, it's like wow small world because they're an uh, hour and a half north of us from where we were at and uh, we just met this little small place so um, but the, this bridge also I was reading up on it and it has uh, a movie was made here using the bridge and also a uh, scene from The Walking Dead with Daryl and a few of the other characters was used on the bridge and uh, The Walking Dead was actually filmed probably about 10 miles from here so um, yeah so this area was used for a lot of things with the um, TV show as I was told but uh, yes yeah, so, uh, as you can see on the left here is uh, that farm uh, maybe you'll see it while when the, the ditch goes down but yeah, a lot of farmland on the left and some pines on the right which I think was a pine forest, but right here you can see a little bit of mud in the road, which luckily was packed down for where we had to drive through. But uh, I asked Meredith if we got down this point, I was like, are you sure we're in the right place? So we pulled GPS up and 
I was told to look for the creek on here, and uh, sure enough, the creek was right down here around the corner. And uh, Georgia's had a lot of rain lately, so um, we get down this way, and and there's uh, the creek's kind of flooded over right now. And you, as you can see in the road up here on the right, they said the water was all the way up in the road from the creek. So, um, yeah, we got up here and um, went around this bend, and the creek, the bridge popped up, and I was uh, thinking about crossing over the bridge. But um, my van being a lower minivan with the lower floor for the wheelchair lift and stuff, I didn't know if I could make it over the hump in the bridge because my van sits about three and a half inches off the ground and I didn't want to go up on the ridge and get stuck. But um, luckily we got up here and uh, we parked and decided to explore and take some pictures. But uh, on the other side of the bridge, the road is paved and if you go maybe 200 yards, it takes you back out to the main highway, which you know, if we knew, we would have went that way, but I also enjoy going down the dirt road and uh, exploring that way because it's kind of peaceful and it's a beautiful area. So uh, if I do it again, I'd probably go back down the dirt road because it's a nice place and might go out there and take some pictures one day, like I said, at night or something, try to get some Mickey, Mickey Way shots. But uh, yeah, we got out here and uh, as you can see here, uh, the pictures start popping up. That's the, the sign. In the creek in the background, explain where you're at. And uh, I always like doing black and white for things like this because it uh, kind of shows you back in time, kind of deal. And as you can see, the water here up on the left is kind of floated up, up under the bridge. And this is all the trestles, everything's in there with pegs. You can see in a, another picture how the pegs are uh, inside the, the boards. All right there, how they go in, crisscross, and they got pegs in the middle. I did a 30 second exposure with this one. The cloud movement. And we decided to go across the bridge. I said, I'll take my chance since it's paid on the other side. And I uh, figured we'd go out this way since it'd be quicker to get back home. And uh, as you see, we took our time because uh, my dash cam was recorded and Meredith, she was. Uh, taking pictures on her phone and recording on her phone and I uh, was also checking out the water up under the bridge it's, you know just a cool experience to go across the cover bridge because I uh, haven't been across the cover bridge since probably the early 80s but uh, yeah it's a very good very well built bridge just all the, the structure is really nice in it great design I mean back then simple design and it still holds up today. But on the left here, you got the parking. People come out there and park, and you got uh, a few picnic tables over there. There's also picnic tables on the other side of the bridge, but um, they were in the water at, at this moment. But yeah, you can see uh, leaving from there, it's all paved, and little parking area. People come out there and picnic and sit, and a lot of Walking Dead fans come out there and just visit the the scene from the TV show but also if you come through this way as you'll see we go through this little uh, steel beam here it lets you know if your car is uh, too wide and too tall to go through the bridge which was pretty cool but up here where uh, we stop is where the highway is and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and a little bit about the bridge if you're ever in Woodbury go check it out and uh, thanks for watching Later.